right now today, that time is up. There's no more I'm giving you lies. We're not We're not black. We're not We're not judging you, we're learning you. Well, have we seen any change? Yeah. Have we seen anything that has changed our people? Changed our neighborhood? In the Christian church, have you ever heard that, oh, we don't have to keep law God's laws, uh, we just have to have faith, right? Yeah. We just have to have faith, right? Let me ask you this. Can I rape a woman if I wanted to, if the laws are done away with? Right. So if the laws are done away with, you said I, I can't rape, that means the laws are what? Still in effect, correct? That's right. That's right. So can I sleep with a dog if I wanted to according to God? No. Because the laws of God are still in effect. That's right. So Christian church, when they ever whenever you hear that the laws are done away with, you should say prove it. Right, right. You will never find it in the Bible. And let's see what Christ said exactly about that. Read. Matthew chapter 5, verse 17. Take not that I come to destroy the law. So Christ said, don't get it into your little old bitty mind that the laws of God, the laws of my father are done away with. Right, right. He said that, think not. Think not that I come to destroy the law. Or the prophets. Read. I am not come to destroy, but to fulfill. Right. right. So Christ said, don't think I came to destroy the law or what the prophet said. He came to fulfill everything that uh, the prophet said about him. Read. For verily I say unto you, till heaven and earth pass, one jot or one tittle shall no wise pass from the law. So Christ said himself, listen, are you still standing on the earth right now? Right. If you look up, do you still see the heaven or what we can see of heaven, correct? We can see, look up, we call that heaven. People call that heaven, right? First heaven. The first heaven, right? So Christ said, until heaven and earth pass, not one period or one comma, and shall in no wise pass away. That means everything that was written, you still got to keep. That's right. That's right. Everything that his father told Moses to tell us, you still got to keep. Right. Just like the Sabbath thing. Today is the Sabbath day. Did you know that? Today is the holy day of the Lord, not right. Sunday. Not Sunday, it's never been Sunday. The Roman Catholic Church changed it in 325 AD right. to Sunday. But God, from the beginning in Exodus 20 and 8, he said that the seventh day is the Sabbath of That's the Lord. Right. That's and you right. have to remember it. We forgot it because we lost our heritage. We right. call ourselves African American. Our men wore dresses. Our women slept with other women, men sleeping with other men, voting for nations that we're not supposed to vote for and thinking they're going to get us out of our captivity. Yes. And they're the one that put us in it. Right. The Arabs, like the brother asked about the Quran, they put us, they sold us to Esau. Right. They sold us to the other nations. Right. The Nicaraguans, the northern kingdom of the, of the Bible, was sold into slavery. That's they right. They were sold before you and I were sold into That's slavery. That's right. They were sold into slavery in 1492. That's right. right. When did we go into uh, slavery? 1619. 16 and, uh, we came 200 years after. Here, uh, this is a book for you, Larry, right? Yes, Larry. This is called The Devastation of the Indies by Bartolomo de las Casas. He wrote down everything that the conquistadors did to the Hispanics when he first landed here in 1492. We're going to read it out of but to, to prove it. Just because the Bible is a history book. Our people think it's a fairy tale book, but it's actually a history book. That's right. And here it's recorded. It says on page 72, when the Spaniards had killed all the chieftains and all the Indians capable of making war, they cast all the others into infernal servitude, slavery. And when the Spaniards demanded tribute slaves, they gave them their sons and daughters, the only slaves they had. These the Spaniards sent 
by shiploads down the coast to be sold in Peru. So you heard that? It says that when they uh, wanted tribute slaves, who do they give? Their sons and their daughters, correct? Let's see what God says about that. Deuteronomy chapter 28, verse 41. Read out. Thou shalt beget sons and daughters, right. but thou shalt not enjoy them. Right. For they shall go into captivity. That's right. God says, as the blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans, as the Israelites, according to the Bible, right. you're not going to enjoy your sons. Because what? That book just said they were given into another people. They were given into slavery. God says that to not keep in my commandments, your sons are going to be taken from you and sold to somebody else. Isaiah chapter 42, verse 22. But this is a people robbed and spoiled. They are all of them snared in holes and they are hid in prison houses. So when you look at the prisons, who fill up the prisons right now? Blacks, Hispanics, and Native American Indians. We can walk across the street, trip over a, a, a piece of bubble gum, and the police will come strip us up and take us down to the, um, to the jail. Right. Right. Say you was uh, um, jaywalking. They can say that you got a warrant. They say they put stuff on us sometimes. Right? You fit the description of somebody that committed a robbery. Right. God says our people, the black Hispanics and Native Americans, will fill up the prison houses. Is that not Bible prophecy or, or what? Right. When you go to any prison on the planet, that's right. People that look just like you, like you, like you, and every one of us up here, fill those prison houses. Right. right. That's right. And is that not a form of slavery? Right. You can't go where you want to go. You're going to eat what they're going to tell you to eat. Right. You got to go to bed when they tell you to go to bed. Right. You can go outside for one hour out of the day. Bring it out. The 13th Amendment, all right. that. That's you, right. this, this is Bible prophecy being fulfilled today and age. A lot of people think this is a fairy tale book. This is the only book, the true book on the planet. It's the only thing that we can go back and get our heritage from. Because when we keep God's commandments, our Father's commandments, we're going to be on top. That's right. That's right. That is the purpose of this book. This book is not to be, be read, read and all of that. It is for our deliverance. Read. Deuteronomy chapter 30 verse 1. Read. And it shall come to pass when all these things come upon thee, the blessing and the curse. Hey. which I have set before thee, thou shalt call them into mine among all the nations, whether the Lord thy God driven thee. So God says, wherever the Lord, wherever he have driven thee, you should call these scriptures to mind. The blessings and the curses. Because we're remembering where we broke God's commandments. We're remembering where we said, nah, I'm a woman, but I want to wear pants. Right. Ain't nobody gonna ever tell me what to do. Right. I'm a man. I wanna dress like a woman. I wanna do what I wanna do. Right. But we also know that we're gonna find if we do keep God's commandments, they're gonna be blessings. Right. The kingdom is for the Israelites only. Right. That's right. The blessings is for the Israelites only. Right. The prophecies are for the Israelites only. Right. The promises for the Israelites only. Right. We're remembering the blessings and the curses. And shall return unto the Lord. Thy God Pray. and shall obey his commandments. Shall do what? Shall obey his voice according to all I command. Where's God's voice? Right here. That's right. When people say that, oh, I heard God talk to me. Right. And oh, he told me a special thing. Right. God ain't never deal with one person uh, by himself. And that's the only person that's going to get it. God said, I speak to you as a nation of people. He sent people to speak to the nation. When he sent Moses, who did Moses speak to? The nation of Israel. That's, that's when right. he talked uh, talk to Jeremiah, who did Jeremiah speak to? The nation of Israel. When that's Christ right. came on the scene, who did he go to? The scattered, the lost sheep of the house of Israel. That's right. right. Shalom, this I'm Elder Nathaniel, Israel United in Christ. 
YouTube likes to shut our channels down, as some of you have noticed <laughs> ever so often. Subscribing to join IUIC will assure you will always stay connected to our YouTube accounts. We want to do our best to make sure this truth gets out. Please click and join our subscriber YouTube channel called Join IUIC to stay linked to all of our videos. So again, please make sure you subscribe to this Join IUIC channel to get your latest updates on all our YouTube channels. Shalom.